Hello, my name is David Manning with Autodesk. In this episode of the Plant 3D with the Experts vlog, we're looking into AutoCAD Plant 3D Report Creator. In this part one of a two part series, we're going to be looking at generating or exporting of Plant 3D reports. In Plant 3D, we have two main ways of getting reports. The first and the most commonly known is the Data Manager. You can see that from here in the ribbon tab. Clicking on that will open the data manager. This is often used for editing the data from the project. But if you go to the pull down menu and select, pro select project reports, you can see a number of reports that have been pre-formatted inside this project. Now to get those out, it's very easy. I'm going to you select a report from the list. I'll select control valve list and you can export that or you can even print it directly. Exporting though, allows you to get an XLS or even a CSV file if you want and hitting save will export that. There's also options to bring that back in again if it's what you need. The other side of reporting, of course, is the report creator. Now, if I exit out of Plant 3D and we go to the report creator button, which is part of the installation of Plant 3D, I can launch a panel. In here, we've got three main areas, the project, the report configuration, and the data source. Very easily, the first thing we want to do is select the project we want to use. You can select the open button there and what you're looking for is the project XML. Once that's loaded, we have the look at the report configuration section. In there, we have the list of reports available uh, to report on the project. There are a number of different areas as those reports can be stored. By default, it is stored in this general section, which if you have a look on your system, is part of the installation and will show you all the default template reports. You can also have reports inside a project or even a custom location, which might be your network drive or somewhere similar. I'm going to leave it here for now. The other area is if we select a report, uh, pick a random one, we go to edit and it takes us out to the configurator we'll come to later. The data source section is where we can select what we actually want the report to be focused on. We can look at the entire project data and it's showing you a list of files there. Alternatively, you can select the button next to the drawing data and that allows us to pick specific drawings to report on. So if I scroll up, we can look at the PNIDs. You can pick both of them or just one PNID as is appropriate, or you can even pick folders. I'm going to pick that first PNID. I'm going to change the report to something useful for a PNID to a line list, for example. We can then preview that report, and that will show us what that's going to look like. We can do some searching in here and some saving and printing if we want to. As well as that, there's also other options in here. You can change the background colors of the page if you like. You can also add a watermark. That is uh, something you might choose to do if you're doing draft reports. You can also directly export or even email from here in a number of different formats. So you can pull the, open the pull down list and select the format to start that export. And similarly for the emails using your default email tool. However, if you are interested in seeing it, you just want to, you've got the format laid out and you're happy with that by default. If we go to that, as a general person doing reports or routine reports, uh, all you need to know is to select the right project from the list to select the report that you're after, select the data source, and in this case I'll just change it to project data, and you can just go straight to the export option. In there you can uh, alter a few things as well, as adding security or a digital signature, some other details in here about the document who's created it, and when you're finished, clicking OK will export that as well into the default location, and you can see that's inside my project. And double clicking that, it will open on that in my Adobe Reader software. Okay, next we're going to go through some editing and configuration using the edit settings button. 